Hi guys, so here we go, the first video. Uh, and today we are gonna repair a pair of Christian Louboutin uh, shoes. These shoes are actually in really good condition. We don't get them in this good condition very often. So basically all that is painted, the sole. And what happens is when you wear it, it wears at the toe and it wears all the paint off and then it looks really unsightly. Um, you can send them back to Christian Louboutin and they will they offer a service where they'll repaint it but to me and a lot of other shoe repairers it seems pointless um, because you want to keep that red all the time so what what we do is we've got this uh, Italian uh, shiny red sole and what we're going to do is we're going to put that onto there over there and obviously shape it so it just follows the profile of the shoe um, and the key thing is with this is to get the joint so that it's as smooth a transition as possible. Um, these shoes, five, six hundred pounds, when ladies come in with these shoes or they post them, all of the ladies, they, they say, do you realize how much these shoes cost? Uh, and it's quite funny really, because when they're in the shop, it's almost like they don't want to give me the shoe. They're like holding it back. Uh, and uh, I say, do you want me to repair them or do you not want me to repair them? So yeah, we're really excited about this. Um, in, in principle, it's a simple job, but it's quite intense when you're repairing a shoe for 600 pounds. Okay guys, so let's, uh, let's go down to the workshop where the, uh, where the action happens and uh, let's get started. We've been nominated for the uh, Retail Awards in Chesterfield. So I just want to take this opportunity to uh, thank all the customers that have voted for us it's really really kind of them to take the time out to do it right okay so the first thing to do um, with expensive shoes is to make sure that they are protected um, so that we don't make any silly mistakes so what we're doing right now uh, we're just putting some masking tape I just want to show customers that we do actually care and prepare everything properly. Right, so what we've done is the suede uppers, so we've protected it with masking tape. Uh, most, I say not everybody, but most shoe repairers would probably scour the line, because what we're doing is we're we're going to put this sole on there to protect it but we've got to get a really nice straight line and we want to make sure that it's a really neat transition between the two so we we pick a spot just past the bend and we put some masking tape on there because we know masking tape's not going to move if we do it with something else it could shift as we're doing the line and it sort of helps me keep that, my knife going in the right direction because I can see the masking tape bulges a little bit I'm going off course. So then we get my uh, clicking knife. Uh, that knife's got an edge on both sides, so the points in the middle, that's designed to help you keep a straight line. This is what most ladies will be horrified about, that I'm gonna take a knife to the shoes. But we, uh, we take great care. I've gone quiet now, because I'm nervous. As we get to the end, put the knife down and push it back up, so that we don't go off the end of it. So what that's done, that's created a straight incision. And this is my uh, favorite knife. Uh, this is a, what you call a pairing knife. So it's it's um, sharpened just on one side and it's flat on the other. Um, and what that does, it helps peel off the um, leather. The aim of this is to get a really neat straight line. And you've got to have a really sharp knife. Okay. So now we've made that straight line, now the aim is to get that to the right depth, so we've got a smooth transition there. So we've just got to tinker about with it a bit, make sure that it's nice and flat, that's pretty good. Yep, nice and flat, I'm happy with that. So when we put it on the uh, sanding machine, 
uh, which we, that'll be the next bit of uh, the uh, video, you'll see that that thing rotates real fast and to get that line like that is pretty much impossible. So if you cut it with a knife, you get that clean incision. Bit of noise, we're in a couple of shots. So these Laboutons are in perfect condition to send. This is like dream work for us. This lady obviously look, you know, looks after her shoes. You notice there, there's lots of dust on there. We need to get rid of that. The best way to do that is blow it up. Just a little compressor, just link to my compressor. And even though I've just cleaned that off, I can see there's a little bit more there. So the reason we take the dust off is so that you get a better bond. You can blow it, you know, like that, but that's more powerful. Reminds me of a dentist, but I don't like that. Right, so nice and clean, dust free. We're going to do a little trick to help the joint look neat. We're going to get some masking tape. Leave this masking tape on. The reason I'm doing this is when you, when you put this on, you can see, even though it fits real snug, there's a little white line there. So what we do is put some masking tape over the edge. The Bouton colour spray and we just gently just colour that line in. So when we glue it up, you can't see that white edge. That's that. So now we're going to start the gluing process. So what we do is we've got um, a leather and rubber glue but we thin that, we thin it down. bit for viewers. This glue's been thinned down so that it gets into the fibres of the leather and it acts as a primer coat. Obviously the shoe's suede and that's another reason that we've protected it with masking tape. When that dries, or it's nearly dried, we'll put a coat of the thicker un unthinned down glue onto it. So once the primer's set that goes into the fibres and then the other glue ties into that that's tied into the fibres so you get a really good bond. Okay, so the glue's uh, dried now, cured. So now this is the tricky bit of um, making this joint as neat as humanly possible. And I can tell you now, I'm never, ever 100% happy about it, but that's because I'm a perfectionist. Okay, right, so that's, uh, that's on. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it onto the press which puts a nice even pressure. Even though I've pressed it down by hand, the uh, machine will just finish it off. Okay, so now we're just gonna press this hole on. Um, what's really vital is this bit here, that it's the same shape and that angle is the same as this angle here. Because if not, it would just break it. There's 60 pound, 62 pound per square inch gonna be applied to it. So we've got to get that shape right to match that. So we just pull that across, step that in. So it's 
So now this 61 pounds per square inch applied to that evenly and that's going to just make sure that there's no air in the glue it'll just flatten everything out so just quick look at joint I'm really I'm really happy with that so now next thing to do is we're going to cut this sole around the edge and then we've got to trim it on the machine okay okay so we've, we've left this for an hour uh, an hour and a half just to cure for the glue to harden off uh, but what, what we're going to do now is cut the sole pretty close. A little scary bit for the owner if she's watching. Got my razor sharp knife near uh, the boutons. And the idea is to get it pretty close. Okay, so I've took the bulk of that off and then we've got to finally shape it onto the machine and we'll go onto that in a, in a minute or two. Okay, um, as you can see we very very carefully trimmed the sole and you can probably see on this camera angle that it's such a fine sole, you've got to be so careful. But we're going to colour the edging now, so we need to put a little bit of a black edge on there so it looks proper and tied in. Um, usually we'd use inks, wet inks, let them dry, brush it off, but these shoes are that elegant. Um, through trial and error we've realised that a good old fault tip ten, pen will uh, does the trick better so all we're doing is literally colouring the edge in and again we have to be very careful all this hard work that we've done and taking painstaking care we've got to uh, see that through so all I'm doing here is just gently putting some black wax over the edge of the marker pen. As you can see everything is done gently. That's it. All done. I'm happy with that. Okay, so um, this is the end of the first project, um, a beautifully stylish pair of Christian Louboutins, um, really beautiful, beautiful shoes. Uh, this lady didn't wear them too much, uh, which is ideal really to bring them in because they pointed, they wear out the, at the toe, um, but you know, she, she, the best thing to do is either bring them in from new, which most people don't but when they realise how quickly it wears off they sort of dash in but you can leave it too far um, but this, this lady she did it in good time so we've got nice neat edges there and the joint is lovely transition between the glossy Italian sole and the leather sole um, what, what happens is obviously as that wears it's very hard wearing as well but as that wears um, it still it stays red, whereas with the painted sole it just looks uh, patchy, uh, doesn't look right. Plus, the added benefit that will feel better to walk in, uh, a bit more insulated and a bit more grippy. So that's also another benefit. Um, for this job, the lady just had the soles done because the heels are fine, so that's fifty-five pounds. Um, if it was sole and heel, it's sixty-five. You know, if everything's straightforward. Uh, but we do contact people if there's any issues before we go ahead with anything. Um, so I just wanted to thank everybody uh, for watching this video and um, hopefully um, you will like, subscribe, 
click the notification bell and leave some comments leave some comments for us um, if you want to see certain projects or you want to know some details some technical detail or any queries in any capacity so like subscribe smash the notification bell as they say on YouTube and uh, leave your comments thank you ever so much guys really enjoyed this cheers